Hi my dear students, today we are going to talk about the properties on operations on Z. Okay, we know that we have four operations on Z. Addition, multiplication, subtraction and division. And we have some properties. Let's see which one of them achieves these properties. Okay, so in addition, if we said 2 plus 3 equal 5 and 5 belong to z so and negative 2 plus negative 3 equal negative 5 belong to z so we can say that addition mean uh, may uh, addition at, uh, achieve closure okay or closure is exist on addition why because closure means the answer of this operation belong to z the answer of this operation belong to z okay if i want to check this operation or this property on multiplication let's see 2 by 3 equals 6 so 6 also belong to z and negative 2 by 3 equal negative 6 and negative 6 also belong to z so closure is exist on multiplication so because sorry because uh, any number in multiplication exist or uh, belong to z so closure is exist on multiplication Okay, let's uh, check in subtraction. If I said 2 minus 3 equal negative 1 and negative 2 minus negative 3 equal positive 1, both of them belong to Z. So closure also exists in subtraction. On division, if I said 6 divided 3, it will be 2. 2 belong to Z, but 3 divided 6 equal 0 0.5, and we know that fractions and decimal uh, not belong to z so closure not exist in division closure not exist on division okay so the closure exists on addition multiplication subtraction why because all of this answer all the answers of these operations are exist on z or belong to z okay second of the second property is commutative what the meaning of commutative means if we replace the place of number the answer never change like if we said 2 plus 3 hey hey or the same 3 plus 2 negative 2 plus negative 3 the same as negative 3 plus negative 2 so we can replace it and never change the answer so commutative is exist on addition 2 by 3 equals 6 and 3 by 2 equals 6 negative 2 by negative 3 equals the same of negative 3 by negative 2 so the answer never change in multiplication if we replace so commutative is exist on multiplication 2 minus 3 equal negative 1 and the 3 minus 2 equal positive 1 so 2 minus 3 not equal to 3 minus 2 so commutative not exist in subtraction and we said before 6 divided 3 not equal to 3 divided 6 so also commutative not exist in division so commutative exist in addition and multiplication associative property means if we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 we can make it like this I can 
make 2 plus and put 3 plus 4 between brackets and it will give me the same answer or if I put 2 plus 3 between brackets and make plus 4 th then plus 4 it will give me the same answer it will give me 9 why let's see 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal 9 and if I make 2 as it is then add 3 plus 4 it means 2 plus 7 equal 9 okay if I collect 2 plus 3 it will be 5 5 plus 4 equal 9 it gave me the same answer so associative exists in addition okay multiplication if we make 2 times 3 times 4 it will be 24 if I make 2 times 3 times 4 alone 3 times 4 equal 12 2 by 12 equal 24 the same answer if I make 2 times 3 it will be 6 6 by 4 equal 24 so it gave me the same answers so associative is exist in multiplication associative not exist in division or in subtraction identity element what the meaning of identity element it's the element which not change the number like what if I make uh, 2 plus which number give me 2 plus 0 right if I said 0 uh, 2 uh, negative 2 plus which number equal negative 2 it will be 0 so 0 is the additive identity element 0 is additive identity element Okay, in multiplication, do you know what is the number which never changes the answer or the, the main number? Let's see, 2 by which number equal to, okay, 1. So, 1 is the multiplicative identity element. So, 1 is the multiplicative identity element. Sorry, it's a mistake. It's a mul uh, multiplicative, not additive, multiplicative identity element. Okay, we don't have number uh, uh, in subtraction or division. Two plus negative two. The inverse, the inverse. We know that from the first lesson is to uh, the inverse of any number is to change the sign. If uh, like two plus which number equal zero, so it will be two plus negative two. Two plus negative two equal zero. Three plus negative three equal zero. So the answer plus its additive inverse. Uh, inverse equal zero okay additive inverse means negative inv negative is inverse to positive or positive is inverse to negative we don't have in multiplication because it will be uh, it will never belong to that and the uh, subtraction and division okay use the properties of addition and multiplication to solve 5 plus negative 3 plus 7 plus 9 negative 9 so we are going to replace we are going to replace the numbers let's replace the second and third number negative 3 we will replace it uh, with 7 so it will be 5 plus 7 plus negative 3 plus negative 9 we make what what is the property we use we use commutative property we must write the property okay so let's collect 5 plus 7 between brackets and negative 3 plus negative 9 between another brackets so we make yes associative property okay it will be 12 plus negative 12 it will be 0 so additive inverse we have number and its inverse so additive inverse and 
the number zero is belong to that so we have closure so it will be the properties we have to here two properties additive inverse and closure negative two by negative three by five by negative one let's replace the second one the second number with the third number okay negative two by five by negative three by negative one Col we use commutative property then collect negative two by five in a bracket and negative three by negative one in another bracket we used associative so it will be negative 10 by positive 3 it will be negative 30 and it's a belong to that so we used closure use the distribution property to solve we know that we have distribution property okay we have 32 by 18 minus 32 by 34 plus 32 by 17 here we have common number in this case 32 32 32 so we can take 32 and put by and after it then open brackets and take the rest of this number 18 drop 18 and the drop minus and drop 34 and the drop 17 so the answer will be 32 by 1 the answer of this is 1 so it will be 32 okay if we have 26 by 101 we can decompose or uh, make 101 like 100 plus 1 so we can use this distribution 26 by 100 plus 1 so we can express 26 by 100 between brackets plus 26 by 1 so the answer will be 2600 plus 26 it will be 2626 okay 32 by 99 99 can express it by 100 minus 1 so we can use 32 by 100 minus 1 it will be 32 by 100 minus 32 by 1 it will be uh, 3200 uh, 3, minus 32 it will be 3168 we use this operations or this properties to make addition or sub or multiplication easier to make it easier we use the distribution to make it easier when we uh, decompose 101 to 101 we can solve it easily okay uh, this year we uh, we are going uh, we are not going to use any problem like this just know the property and know how to use it and we can just test uh, test you in choose question okay just choose question please take care and get it well and understand it well Thank you.